tap completion and up arrow key in this lesson we will learn how when we run the tab button on your keyboard how can it completes your directory or your command that you're trying to run and how the up arrow key works and how it returns your last ran command hitting tab key completes the available commands files or directories such as when you're running change my mod this command it has od at the end as well so if you just type chm and hit tab it completes the command for you the same way when you do ls space j and hit tab it will list all the files that starts with j then you have cd des so if you do cd des and hit tab it will bring you any all the directories that matches the first three uh, letters uppercase des so basically the tab makes uh, the typing a lot easier in Linux so you don't have to run the whole long commands again and again you could just simply tab if you know the command and it auto completes it for you this is very useful feature in Linux I'm telling you this is very useful once you're gonna become a real uh, expert in Linux you're gonna be using this tab button almost every day and every time you logged into Linux machine then we have another cool feature of Linux is hitting the up arrow key what that does is every time you hit up arrow key it will bring you the last ran command on your Linux terminal isn't that cool it is cool because you don't have to run the commands again and again and again so you just hit up arrow key and boom and hit enter and we'll run that last command so let's see how these two um, tab and up arrow key works in our Linux machine let's clear the screen um, so the first command I wanted to show you is let's say if you have chm mod so this is the command so what if I just take out a ch o o d and just right now hit tab it completes that command for me but if I just do ch and hit tab twice now it will give you all the commands you see that starts with ch now you know there are many other different commands that start with CH and you could try different commands to see as long as you know about that command so don't run any command that you really don't know or you I would I recommend you you run man command on that before you running it so another way we could check our tab is if you wanted to do LS and I wanted to do uh, J I wanted to list all the files that has Jerry and I will hit tab there you go see it auto completes my Jerry why did that because most likely I only have J files starting with just one file which is this is the one J let's say there are two files that starts with three files actually that starts with L Lex Lisa and Lois and let's see what happens when I do LS and do L and hit tab twice it gave me all three files that starts with L so isn't that cool you don't have to actually go into the directory full uh, do ls minus l look for your file as long as you remember the first letter and you hit tab it will give you everything that starts with it same way we'll do ls minus l and let's say if i wanted to do desktop i wanted to cd into desktop let's say there is this um, folder we have in our home directory desktop right we could do cd des D E S K desktop type the whole thing hit enter and go in let's go one step back again or we could just do CD desk and hit tab and it auto completes it for you and you hit enter isn't that cool it'll save you a lot of time I love this this feature of Linux and I'm sure you're gonna love it too now the second one what I was talking about is the up arrow key so if, if you hit up arrow key right now on your desktop 
you'll see it will return the last command that we ran. If you hit it again, it will keep bringing all the commands that we ran in a sequential order. See, so far we have ran so many commands and it's bringing everything. So now if you type the lowercase, uh, uh, the, the down key, it will bring you back to all the commands uh, that you last ran. So now we didn't run any command. Um, after uh, CD desktop. If you want to go back again, up arrow key desktop. There you go. So now um, let's say I wanted to do this time I wanted to do, um, uh, let's say, what is um, LS and what is PWD and uh, clear. And one more command we will run, let's say, uh, date. Date is another command that we'll cover later on. And since you run it, it will give you the date of your system. So now um, you ran a few commands, four or five commands. Now instead of typing all those commands, you could run, you could do up arrow key one time, two times, three times, four times, five times, and it is bringing all the commands you ran. So guys, this is what it is all about, the up arrow key and tab key. I'm telling you, this is going to make things so much easier once you're going to become expert at the end of this course. All right, I hope you really like this one, and I really want you to practice this tab and up arrow key again and again and again so you will know how these uh, both features work.